test the referees there just to verify what all he's done correctly. Referee not quite happy with the position that Zhao is taking. Yeah, well, the actual wheelchair itself has to be at a certain angle, doesn't it? Otherwise... 110 degrees to the centre. So the difference is here. We have a left-hander against the right-hander, so we can actually see both athletes almost facing the viewer, facing the referee. Different angle, obviously, if well, they were both right or both left. There's Zhao Jingjing and her opponent, Beatrice Viol. These tense moments before the match begins. And in just a few minutes' time, we'll have a new Paralympic champion. Just testing the foil on the bib of the masks. And salute to each other, to the referees, and, and Zhao enjoying the support from the crowd as she acknowledges them with her foil before the masks go on and business begins. Yeah, Biel's philosophy is I can do everything I want to do and we were talking about that earlier, weren't we? <laughs> she can. What a great attitude to have. Now she'll want the gold medal. Can she do that as well? To a strong start and if she's celebrating like this after one point, imagine if she makes it the first to 15. And her coach being very vocal. Rightly so. She gets the first two points on the board. And this teenager just so, so fast. What can Zhao Jingjing bring to this match? Yeah, absolutely amazing stuff. This really is. The semi-final was amazing, and now 3-0 up straight away. 4-0. All four limbs. Amputated. The Italian has a 4-1 lead in this Category B wheelchair fencing. Such exciting stage of the competition as these athletes battle it out to be crowned Paralympic champion. Zhao knows what it's like to be on top of that podium. Well, don't forget that she is competing now against the new EPE Paralympic champion here and uh, she's 5-1 up. Somebody jumped the gun. Very quick reaction. But sometimes it can be too quick. A warning given to Zhao. To see. Starting to move before the referee called the start of the match. Some coaching advice coming from Biel's coach. Disallowed. Even though the coach clapping trying to keep his okay. athlete okay. focused. Okay. And brings the point back. 5-2. Okay. Okay. Off target, you can see Viel catching the point of her foil on the leg of Zhao. Okay. Okay. That was like lightning as well, that. Three point... Uh, Three points now to Zhao. You can hear the referee very loudly and clearly now calling the instructions in French, the language of fencing. with the position of her chair on the platform it seems or the position of her leg the referee just trying to work out exactly what it is that Zhao is asking trailing by two points okay. for Viel. 
the quick one. She's brought it up to just one point. Great fight back there from Zhao. Zhao's still not quite happy with the positioning. Pio leads five points to four in this gold medal match. You just see the referee pointing to the leg of Zhao and the referee maybe not happy with the position. Now the feet must stay on the foot platform. If they are leaving that could be used as momentum in the for the points and that is not allowed. That would be seen as an advantage. Feel the tension building. Fio okay. had that okay. early lead of three points. Okay. But now, okay. Zhao is having to fight back, just trailing by that okay. vital one okay. point. Still early days in this okay. final okay. match. Okay. Yeah, he gets another point now, though. But uh, like you say, it was just that fight back, and it looked like a slightly different match. Zhao, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just feeling a little pain. Zhao apologizing, but this is a combat sport. And these athletes want to win. Well, that's lovely to see, isn't it? I mean, Zhao Jingjing there, this is the Paralympic final, and she was concerned. Pulling one point back again. Seven to Zhao's five. Well, that's going to cost her another point there because it's two yellows, uh, which is a red card and a point up to Viao. And every point so, so important here. And the Italian, for the first time this match, goes four points up and those celebrations. She is very pumped for this event. Absolutely on fire. She's on chin. Boarding. The athlete pumping the arms. Now it's been so close. And look at that. Ten points to five. Adidia from Italy. Is she on the way to becoming Paralympic champion in her first Paralympic Games? Crowd getting behind both these athletes in this final. Yeah, angry with herself there, Vial. Well, coach is doing everything but getting in there with her. <laughs> She's, he's really uh, pumped as well. Zhao, just giving one back. Still a margin of four points separating these two. And we are just looking to a coach. Should I ask for a review of that? Now it has to come from the athlete. Only the athlete can request it. But just a little nod. From her coach saying yes, I think that was your point. And I'll have to wait and see 
As the referee will overturn his decision. Yeah, it is intense, isn't it? You can feel the tension. You really can. Victor Vial wants it so badly. And, well, the Olympic Games and Paralympic Games, uh, they create heroes. They really do. And you see a lot of the big champions, of course, go through disappointment. But uh, it's the absolute hunger for it. She's 19 years of age. She wants it so badly. Another point back, though. Ball yeah. back to on guard position. So pumped. Starts to increase her lead back to four points. The coach celebrating. It's back up to five point lead now for Vio. Well, and the Italian. Well, I was going to say just form. two points now off. And now just got to keep, keep her cool. Just feeling some discomfort. And Zhao, very apologetically, just saying, are you OK? You can hear, are you OK? Vio, I think just caught with a flick hit behind her mask on the back of the head. That's how far the reach of these athletes. And she's smiling, but I think that's a little sting. The back of the skull not protected by the fencing mask. And the Italian fans getting behind. Yeah. Could this be a gold medal moment for Italy? Not far away, it seems. But we've seen Zhao fight back on a couple of occasions now. Nothing is final. But look at that. You could just see the, the flick of Zhao went over the top of the mask and flicked down onto the skull of Vio. That looked incredibly painful. It did. It looked painful and uh, just needs uh, just a second just to clear her head there. But I'm really impressed with Zhao Jingjing Jing because there was his genuine um, apology there. Didn't. Uh, there's nothing that uh, she meant to do. So it wasn't intentional. Yo, celebrating as though it's the win, but it does take her to just one point away from the gold medal. And if she gets it, I want to see what these celebrations are going to be like. She's the reigning world champion. Is she about to add the title of Paralympic champion to her name? Well, the coach is waiting for it. I'm sure the Italian fans are as well. Oh, she's done it. And there we wait for the score to be confirmed. The referee not giving that hit. He's making everybody wait on the edge of their seats. Richard's Vio leading by 14 points to seven over Zhao Jingjing. And there it's still not awarded this tense moment. Well, everybody's on tender hooks here. We are as well. well that's three hits in a row disallowed for Vio. And there it is. The coach jumps to his feet. VL's celebrations are just incredible, as incredible as that performance. The 19-year-old from Venice in Italy just doesn't know what to do with herself. The emotions so raw. She's crowned Paralympic champion at just the age of 19. Wow. What emotional moments here in this fencing arena.
Well, yeah, we can hardly speak here either. Absolutely amazing. And Zhao Xingjing there takes defeat so well as well. And uh, credit because that just shows what a big champion she is. But Beatrice Vial, absolutely incredible scenes out there. The Italians are just celebrating and well her celebration like you said there was just amazing wasn't it but she's been amazing i mean what an amazing semi-final an amazing final there and the tears uh well for all to see well what a special moment here in the karaoke arena gold medalist new paralympic champion Beatrice Vial, just what an incredible performance, hugging her coach yet again. You could see the emotions from the coach and athlete. And this all about a partnership. Beatrice Vial, winning 15 points to seven, and hugs from Xiao Jingjing, her opponent. But look at that, just what this moment means to the young Italian. Four limbs, amputee, and now she has just gone and wiped the floor in that final. Just flew through, and the celebrations for the Italians just going wild. Yeah, well, I think well, it's I, I, be emotions I, flowing. <laughs> well, they are, aren't they? And, and we're, we're the same here. You know, I think everybody was uh, pulling for it, and big celebrations there and look at that amazing stuff there Zhao Jingjing well, wonderful to see we two Paralympic champions hugging Zhao Jingjing now the silver medalist in the foil but she'll add that to the Paralympic title she won earlier on in the FA and this lady well this woman it's all about Italy right now and some very proud supporters and very emotional supporters wow. in the crowd. Look at everybody on their feet. Everybody celebrates with her. It's not just the Italians, the Brazilian supporters. I think this lady is just about to, this woman is just about to gain a very large fan base. Beatrice Viel, still a teenager. And Paralympic champion in yeah. the women's foil event. And you've got to say, haven't you, how, how long is she going to be there now at the top? Because um, they, they, they were the very best that she was meeting. And uh, she was above them all. And it was just terrific to see. It was an amazing performance. Amazing in the semi-final. Amazing in the final. And... She's shown what an absolutely incredible woman she is.